It's The Rundown, brought to you by Tommy John. A lot of underwear brands, they claim that they're comfortable. They don't deliver, not like Tommy John. Tommy John has the best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee, meaning they make underwear that are so soft, so comfortable. The waistband doesn't get all you know, loose, doesn't roll down. The bottom doesn't ride up. It's got the uh, support you need. Moisture wicking that you mm. need, you got you got that sweaty butt going. <laughs> Remember that cons? You grab that. It was cons, gross. It was the cons whole thing. after the show, cons went and goosed me. Yeah. And then he just went, oh, it's so wet. <laughs> oh, so you don't want that. Disgusting. Disgusting. Because he wasn't wearing his Tommy John's. you get for trying to finger me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll you don't want part. that. Uh, you're right. He shouldn't be doing that. But in, in the event you're hanging around cons, he's going to do that mm -hmm. to you. Make sure you yeah. have your Tommy John's on because you're going to stay nice, cool, comfortable, the whole nine. And right now you can get 20% off when you go to TommyJohn.com slash rundown. Revolutionary underwear, comfortable undershirts, amazing materials. Stylish, comfortable. TommyJohn.com slash rundown for 20% off. Trade deadline was yesterday. Weird deadline. Kind of uh, not so much going on. One of the then, worst deadlines ever. But then also it was Grinky thing, which came Grinky out of nowhere. Although, shout out to Hubs. He said he, he predicted it. He, he looked at the list, and the Astros were the only contender on Grinky's uh, no trade uh, list. So he said, fuck it, and did it. Uh, that's a big time move, and it's that's crazy. Terrifying. That I mean, the Red Sox are you know playing for are, the wild card, right? But also, you Second. know, they're still the Red Sox, and the thing about the Red Sox is they have one problem, and if they fixed it, they'd probably be good again. And they didn't do a goddamn thing about that. And it's Yankees almost like though that would have been is, like it's that would have been like almost more infuriating. So this is like why did you why did you do it from the beginning? So long? Yes, like we, right. you, This has been just the clear problem. For the whole season. You don't have to wait till August. All off season. Yeah. Like everyone's been saying it's the same team. Why like even the Browse is kinda of like, look, it's a World Series team. No, it's not. You don't you have the setup, man, you don't have a closer. You lose it's not your, the same fucking team. You lose your two most important pieces of one third of the game, really. Uh, you're fucked. Yeah. It's not the same team. So then that's crazy. But, you know, they're coming off a World Series. At least, you know, you can kind of rationalize like that. The Yankees not making a move. When they also have a clear problem, usually the Yankees are like the rich. The rich get richer. It's like, yeah, we're just gonna add on. Their starting pitching, fucking sucks. The Granky news broke when we were on radio. I was on with Tommy. He got a couple yeah. sympathy claps from people that can't handle. You gotta um, be fucking kidding me. The Astros just got Zach Granky. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, we're talking about the Bachelorette right now, dude. Wait, wasn't that at four? What yeah, but. The, it oh, just so it came just out. broke. Fucking Ken Rosenthal what happened? just tweeted it. The Astros got Zach Granky. The Yankees gonna get a fucking pitcher. They got Alfredo Garcia from the fucking Rockies, who's a twenty-year-old in single A ball, and the Astros just got one of the best pitchers in baseball. Holy fuck! Yikes! Tommy, how do you feel about that? I don't like that at all. I'll, I'll sorry to interrupt the bachelor talk, but That's I could fine. not control myself. Thank like this, you. I I mean, and you would have thought it felt like a morgue in there oh after yeah. Granky went to Houston. It was yep. unbelievable. I mean, I'm looking at it like they're almost thirty games over five hundred. Things are going pretty well for them. I know their starting pitching is terrible, but when that Granky news broke, I thought Tommy and Hubs, it really felt like it was a funeral. The season's over. Scrap it. Just go Yankee home fans, and it's done. We're spoiled brats, and when yeah. things don't go away, we stomp our feet and throw a tantrum, and that's fine. And that's what I did. It would have been. <laughs> I mean, I saw your tweet saying, like, you know, you didn't even reasonable. consider the possibility they wouldn't get a pitcher. I mean, it was, which one I was thing... the same way. It's like, which one's it going to be? How good is it going to be? And even at the worst case scenario, like Robbie Ray or one of those fucking right. guys, someone's coming and nobody. No, but I mean, that didn't even cross my mind. Like not yeah. getting anyone wasn't even a thought. It's like maybe they won't get the best pitcher, but they'll get somebody. But what they didn't get anyone, I was like, all right, like that what sucks. What did Cashman say? They're just like, we didn't get close to anything. They weren't close to anything, which is also weird. But and then it, there's it, also it, some reports saying that the Mets were ready. I don't, I don't that's think that's That's a false true. report. The yeah. Mets put that out there and make the Yankees look bad. These I'm fucking convinced. flies. How can Dude. we work in this goddamn office with a full-blown fly infestation? We, They're landing on my face. They're landing on the computer. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> there were, there were, there's a rat in the lobby that everyone knows about. But in the radio studio, there's 50 flies in that studio. Disgusting. As I'm trying to do radio with two seven-year-old men, I have a fly <laughs> landing on my forehead. It lands on my nose. It lands on my cheek. Yeah, like, they're, they're... What, How is this office and you know the what's office happening that right has now? Like, rats and flies? We, we had the last <laughs> office when there was more junk in there than you, you could couldn't even see it was up to your eyeballs and there's never a fly in there dollar office there's flies everywhere and now i start to feel things i'm like god it's a fly well it's hang a on there was, was a like fly there. There, was there was a stretch in that office where it was like walking through like a hippie's bedroom where you're just trying to push through like the the tape we were hanging from the ceilings 
Oh, you know? yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair. We just had, like, Fair. everywhere you went, but, it was but just, like, we fly fixed that. tape. That was, like, yeah. a one-time thing, I yeah. feel like. We left some food out. That's the problem. We just fucking leave tons of food out. This hallway back here, there's, there's always that sludge that just, that just leaks it. from the fucking freight elevator. What's that brown sludge that's there, know. like, three days a week? Yeah. I, don't I don't know. know. It's, it's bad. It's bad. So bad. I, I always think of the uh, Alex Jones rant about Obama when he's like, it's a sign of Satan when <laughs> flies are landing on your face. And like everyone here just flies landing on their face. I there don't is, know yeah, if this has anything to do with it, but this is, we are in a, uh, a, a dirtier part of town. Like there's more people around yeah, here. Yeah, right by Penn Station, yeah. you know, relatively I close to Port Authority. I think that has something to do because the old office, it was, it was like, uh, it, was a de- it was a deserted town. There's nothing going on. I don't know what's going on, but there are flies Fucking everywhere. everywhere. And, and they're you're big. Right. They're big motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. And they're fearless. Not. I mean, they're so big, they're like, I'll land on your face. What the yeah, fuck are you going to do are. about it? They are. They've been like training for this their whole lives. Like, yeah. I, I haven't caught one. I'm usually a pretty good fly catcher. Oh, I haven't yeah, got one yet. YP has killed four during the, the Sean Latham show in the last like three days. <laughs> He's just killing them, and it's, it's, they're not going away. Uh, you don't think it's the food that we just leave out? Because they're not, they're not like fruit flies. Like, it's like we only leave out fruit, and it's like there are. Leave- Boxes of rotting meat. Oh, you mean the stuff over here? I mean when all of it. I mean all of it. don't tell us when like ad deals get sent to us. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, you've had there's Omaha steaks over there for two meat, weeks. Like, there's meat. Was someone going to send me an email about that? I mean, there's cereal God over there a lot. damn. The sludge is really concerning. That's like some Stranger Things shit. Yeah. You know, some like some things just don't change. Well, you guys had squirrels at Milton. Yeah. yeah. We had, uh, now we got rats and flies. Gross. Anyway, the Yankees stink, man. That pitching staff is terrible, and it's going to be your undoing. Yeah, and you have nobody to blame but your fucking selves. But we could still win a World Series. I'm, I'm, I got yeah, all my I mean, therapy out, and now I'm ready to, to go win. Meanwhile, the Mets, I don't believe that, that that report, like, they were close, but I do believe they were interested or at least li- were, like, intrigued on trading Stroman, willing to listen, which is fucking crazy. Like, at the end of the day, yeah, they added Stroman. So, in that sense, they were a team that upgraded. But you have to understand that there's, like, no plan. Like, if they were willing to also turn around and trade him, but then that fell through, so now all of a sudden we're back to being buyers again, but then you don't continue to buy and fix the bullpen, it's like, eh, well, maybe we'll sell, maybe we'll buy, and maybe they go on a run and it works out, but don't give the fucking team credit. I'm so sick of these dumbass fans who are like, what are you talking about? We're going for it. No, we're fucking not. They don't know what they're doing. You have to play. I saw, I think, Brendan's sweet. You have to play, like, a 101-win team. For the rest yeah. of the season? Yeah, you gotta, to play, make like, the you gotta play like six, 630 ball, 625 ball the rest of the way to get to 86 wins. 86 wins. To get to 86. 86. <laughs> they're, they're a fourth place team under 500. You know, like. Who, how can you say you're going for it? Right. We're, we're going for it. You don't even have a winning record. How right. are you going for it? We're fourth place, and the only reason is because the Marlins are in our division. Like, we'd be a last place team in our division. Like two weeks ago, they were like the the second to last in the national league. We're going for it. Yeah, and then and fans are like mediocre. I can understand you if you're gonna like say that, but the fans buying it is like what the fuck. Now the only thing that like sticks in my head is like a a rotation of Degrom, Syndergaard, Stroman, Mats, Wheeler is a is a fucking potentially great rotation if they all pitch their potential. They just they don't they don't. And Alonzo McNeil and Conforto are all great, but you know we also have Robbie Cano. Batting in the cleanup hole, he was like a 0 for 23 stretch. Yeah. Uh, you're not going for it when you're playing guys like that. Well, so don't give them the fucking right? credit. If it's a miracle and it happens, fine. But don't act like the Wilpons and Brody Van Wagenen are masterminding some fucking run here in the second half. They're like, eh, it happens, it happens. Working at this company and following the Mets is one of the more confusing things that goes on <laughs> in my life. Because I talk to you, the sky's falling, I talk to Glennie. He's like, things, you know, we can maybe make a move here. But then Who I Who are you going to believe, Trent? I remember in 2015 when I exclusively followed the Mets on Twitter. It was you and Clem. And it was like, oh, my God, this must be the worst team of all time. And then they made it to the World Series. Because they so were, was, though. And that was the difference. The, the trade deadline was Cespedes, Kelly Johnson, and Juan Uribe, and the whole team changed. Prior to that, they had John Mayberry Jr. and fucking uh, Eric uh, Campbell yeah. batting three and four. They were a terrible team. That was a miraculous run. I just don't think that's going to happen again. You know who the exact opposite of following Kevin is? Like uh, Kevin being like your source of Mets news? It's Parcel Chicago being your sport, your source for Chicago sports yeah. news. Yeah. I thought like the Hawks were like like the number three team in the Western Conference last year. <laughs> Turns out like, like they're like one of the worst teams in the NHL. Like, it happens with the Cubs. Uh, the Cubs are obviously good, but happens with the Cubs happens with uh, the White Sox. I thought the White Sox were poised to make like they're like a big legit run this year. 
Uh, the Bears, I thought were like, ooh, like they're, they're Super Bowl contenders. The fucking Blackhawks, I thought so were great. So confusing like, following it via the people who like live in the city. It's White Sox Dave is, is the is like the doofus version of me, where he like the White the White Sox and the Mets are the same team. They both fucking suck. They're gonna suck forever. And he's always like, this is it. We're gearing up, man. We're gonna win the World Series. Like we're not even ever gonna make the playoffs, dude. Our teams <laughs> suck. So confusing. All right, Lena Dunham. She mouth raped Brad Pitt. That's what she did. It's she runs up on him on the red carpet, just grabs him. Eh, he was like in the middle of a conversation, I think. He ends up just kind of kissing her back. It's not like he like pushes her away. I don't think Seinfeld he did. I didn't see the video. I saw. I haven't the, seen I saw the, the pictures. The pictures look like I know, he's but going then the but there's a literally. second picture where he's like he's doing the cheek smooch thing. I think she just caught him. I think so too. I think I think that was an opportunity for him to go Seinfeld. Um, what's her face? Kesha. Like get the fuck away yeah, from yeah, me. Yeah. And that would have been amazing. When you're tired, because people are tired most of the time. Hey, Kesha, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. <laughs> that was a nice moment. I don't know who that was. But he, I think he kind of just like lets it happen. She is. End. I mean, such again. Such a grotesque human being. Like, even like her like arms in that picture, it's just like, what is wrong with you? Why do you think you can kiss Brad Pitt? I think you can kiss anybody. It's it's a sexual Absolute, assault. Yeah. Anybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Brad Pitt. If it, it was Brad Pitt. If it was Flip, people would be losing their goddamn oh fucking minds about God. it. But since it's this, it's like I don't. I've only seen it in a couple spots. It's not everywhere. People aren't freaking out like right. I thought they would. And it, and it's being portrayed as like Lena Dunham shoots her shot. Lena Dunham. That's uh, so unfair. Lena Dunham like it, ne never is harassed or sexually assaulted or anything like that ever used. It's like Lena Dunham surprised Brad Pitt with a so, kiss. Like, so a what surprise would be, kiss is, yeah. is an assault. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> surprise touching, yeah. non-consensual surprise. Yeah. It, what would be the reverse? Like the hottest girl in Hollywood. I don't know. It's hard to pick, but like, who's like also the biggest? You know, like if uh, if like Scarlett Johansson was at the Avengers premiere, yeah. right? Decked out, looking all hot, and I don't know. Some fucking, fucking Ham Porter <laughs> runs up on her. <laughs> Damn. I don't like Lena Dunham. <laughs> that was, that's our yo, bro. <laughs> you know how many mean things I've said about her over the years? <laughs> that, that you was. just you just like, took me out. It's like, like Ham Porter. Like, what the fuck is he even doing here? And why is he, he kissing Scarlett Johansson? He runs up behind her. He grabs I guess her. She's in the movie. Plants one on her. Like, oh. She borderline ruined the movie for me when she showed up. I haven't seen it. I just. Oh, like, she's I, in it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess that kind of that makes it a little bit different if they were like. I didn't know that. I thought I she was just she, there for the premiere. Cameo. But she's still, a, yeah, they were they ever on they set like together? Were they ever like, they you didn't know, publicize hanging out? Her, but she shows up at some point during the movie. And that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, she's definitely in it for like, yeah, 10 minutes, I would say. That's unfortunate. It's, yeah, I guess. Remember when really she was the direct reason that Donald Trump got elected? Because everyone hated the Democrats <laughs> and hated Hillary Clinton? Yeah. Remember that, Lena? <laughs> this is, we, I mean, we, we were doing a group chat this morning, and Casey didn't know about the, the sister thing. Yep. No, nope. people Broke seem to not her. know that uh, she put her fingers inside her sister when she was one years old. She used to, she used to like, prostitute her sister to herself. She'd, like, pay her candy Because there were her and stuff pebbles like in there? She said something. there were pebbles up there. Pebbles. Yeah, pebbles. And, and then she goes, like, you know, who didn't do that when they were kids? And everyone was she like, put that mm -hmm. Yeah, she put it in her book, like, this is yeah. common knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> normal thing you do during childhood. <laughs> well, it's, no, it's, it's like, not. Remember, nope. Remember we were playing Red Rover, playing tag, eating fruit roll ups, and fingering your sister? <laughs> remember that? Good old, the good old days. <laughs> Crazy, Jesus man. Christ, Lena Dunham. Uh, to the other, my other enemy right now, LeBron James. Uh, throwback. I want to include this on the rundown because there's probably a whole like generation of kids who might not know this. Ten years ago at LeBron's camp, this kid Xavier Crawford throws down a dunk on him. LeBron pulls a fucking Beyonce and had it suppressed from the internet because everyone was going wild. There is some like grainy footage from a different angle that's on E-Bombs World, also another thing the kids don't know about. <laughs> Read up on that. And uh, Xavier Crawford finally came out and spoke about it and said that they did uh, that because so many people were hyped in the gym that's when Nike was running around like we gotta we gotta get rid of this. P kids were telling them like you gotta get a Twitter right now. You gotta like capitalize on yeah. this. This is gonna be viral. And they also said there was a rule. There was like an unspoken or like an unwritten rule. Uh, there's a $500 bounty on anybody if you dunked on LeBron. So uh, Xavier Crawford was like, I still want my 500 bucks. No, so the, so the I thought you meant like a bounty on them. So the bounty was essentially on LeBron. They said for the camp's namesake, and I think it was like the LeBron camp. Yeah, it was right. like, if you can dunk on LeBron, I'll give you 500 bucks. Right, right, right. I, I thought you meant like, like someone was like, I'll kill you. 
if you don't come up wrong. No, no, no. I, I think it was like they said like one of the guys running it. You know, it wasn't like yeah. an official thing, but it was just like somebody said to all the campers, you dunk on LeBron. I thought it was five hundred dollars if you leaked the tape or if you like put it out there. No, no, no. no. That okay, okay. Great. I got it. No, that, that, uh, that Dave would pay like five million for that. Yeah, five hundred. Yeah. yeah. Um, just a reminder. You know, LeBron's a crazy e egomaniac. The Washington Post wrote all about this saga this week, and the headline said. Like LeBron, the latest LeBron James debate isn't about basketball. It's about his parenting skills. It's like no, no it's, it's not. fucking not about high. his parenting skills. It's just not. Not <laughs> once, at least not for me. I don't know what anybody else is saying, but I haven't heard anybody be like LeBron James is a bad dad because he jumped on the court. He's an egomaniac. He's a weirdo. He's a social misfit. He's a narcissist. All that shit. True. He's a great fucking father, a great role model, a great citizen, and a great basketball player. But well, he's a fucking weirdo who doesn't know how to act right. How do you feel being the Washington Post? By name too. Like they Kevin's fancy. Wow, right? I'll, I'll tell you what, silver lining of all of it, uh, we, we, we made it because it said like another member of the media, mm. uh, sports writer or something nice. like that. It wasn't like the usual, like some fucking dickhead KFC <laughs> yeah. from Barstool Sports. <laughs> well, if it's that, like Kevin Clancy from Barstool Sports. If that Nielsen thing Dave blogged is to be believed, Woo! then we are like, we're the top 50 destination on the internet. I'm reading that article. I'm like, why are we not all as rich as Dave? This is crazy. What's the biggest website in the world? 65 million unique visitors on the website, on social media, not including our app, not including our podcast listens, not including Snapchat, Snapchat which is like millions not, of views. Not including all the biggest parts of it. I know. I was going to say, like, you can make the argument that like podcasting is, is you know, the biggest thing we do, and they're not even talking about that. So it is funny. I, bigger than Time Warner, bigger than Vice, bigger than ESPN, ESPN Sports or something like that. I mean, there was a lot of names on that list that we were ahead of that I was like, holy shit. Sometimes you need to remember that because yeah. I, I get caught up in the, the shit show, the, the negativity, some of the things that we do bad. And then you also need to be reminded, like, yeah, I'm worried about the fucking flies. <laughs> yeah. But right, right. 65 million unique people? I mean, that's an insanely large number. Crazy number. A number that I can't even really fathom. The, the Snapchat thing is funny to me, though. It wasn't included in that, but that it is, like, one of our biggest platforms. Yeah. Like, we get pulled in there to do a take, and I'm like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> And then, like, I get pulled out. But then I'd say I'm, when you're walking on the street, I get a ton of, like, Barstool Snapchat. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, that platform's <laughs> huge. Like, I'm just yelling that. into a the, camera the, that some guy watches in his basement. I, I will say, and, I, and not, not the, the, the editor guys, Steve and them, like they might, that might take a long time. But the work we do per yeah. view, it must be the greatest return on investment in the world. It, it takes is. me ten seconds per video. Yeah. Ten seconds. That's so, it. So there are like one some, take done. That's sometimes it. Sometimes we'll go in there like someone's like working on a script. Like, can I? I'll just I'll go first. I'll go real quick. Let me just. It, do it this. will take me literally how long is the Snapchat? Ten seconds. It yep. will take me eleven because I have to put the mic on. Also, that's yeah. it. It's incredible. It's it really is. And you hear them just millions of people watching. <laughs> That's really something. We work uh, really hard on the Snapchat show. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thanks to all our fans who watch. Thank you. I mean, I sometimes I forget I do it. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes I just literally forget to do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got time for a take? Nah, no. not today. I know it's big because that's That's also where... what's funny. Let me just interrupt. Yeah, yeah. They say, do you have time? It's, again, 10 seconds, and sometimes I'm like, nah. <laughs> oh, I, from all the from this text message until I'm done with the video, I can hold my breath. <laughs> I won't take another breath, so yeah, I got time. <laughs> I know it's big because that's also where uh, I'll get people who I went to high school with reach out to me on Facebook, being like, were you on this show? Yeah. That's when you know it's reached just a yeah. whole different audience. I got a lot of people who still remember the Facebook rants. Because I yeah, guess yeah, there's yeah. people on Facebook, you know? Like, oh, where's, like, the goddamn Jets? Or where's, like, One Minute Man? I'm like, oh, I just, I just stopped doing those because I, I didn't think you guys were watching. Girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy who donated his mom's body to research <laughs> for Alzheimer's, the military proceeded to take it, put her in a chair, strap an IED to her, and blow her up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we go down a rabbit hole for this? Really? Sure, again. Because sure. we it gets just, worse than that, right? We were just talking about it on Zero Blog 30 podcast, which comes out on Fridays. Like and subscribe. 73 um, year old woman has Alzheimer's. When she passes, she, has what now? she had Alzheimer's disease. So her, is that how you say her? Is that like Al a, Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I think you say like Alzheimer's. She's got Alzheimer's. Disease is Alzheimer's. This Alzheimer's had Alzheimer's all the time. And <laughs> so he donates. Her brain, he says to this, it's called the Biological Resource uh, Research Center in Phoenix. He donates her brain to this B BRC, thinking it's going to go to Alzheimer's research. 
Well, it turns out this place was like a chop shop. The <laughs> FBI did a raid of it. They found buckets with male genitalia in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tor like a woman's torso sewn onto the body of a man. Like, they walked I heard they through. were, like, sewing heads on the bodies, bodies on the shit. ground. They So, basically, this place would say, yeah, yeah, we'll take care. And then they would send them. There was, like, all these different people. Doris, and in the picture, she's, like, 73 years old, holding a little cupcake, like, at a birthday party. They fucking, did you hear what they did? <laughs> blew her up, They right? strapped her into a Humvee, and then they blew it up from underneath, like... Like an ID, they with their little cotton candy hair and everything. Like it's crazy. They I sent mean, these other guys. I mean, I'm. This so is how I want to be buried. <laughs> this guy didn't blow it. When I die, okay. well, this is a living will. <laughs> Spin it into a pot. Let's I, do it. When I die, send me to a a physical chop shop. Have have <laughs> me so, like I want. I want a pair of bigger titties. I want like <laughs> like. I want make Final Burger's dream come true. Turn him into a woman. I, I would prefer my dick didn't go. I want the dick still. Want the jack. Okay. I want okay. the dick still. I want send a picture to Kevin. I want that like on the podcast. Like just like here's a picture. Here's, here's what fights happened before he went to his final. How, how about this? We'll do our suicide pact and we'll be dead together and we'll like swap heads and shit <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 It'll be like a Final Burger FC real sort of thing. thing. Yeah. And then Can explode they still blow you up me. in the end. Yeah. 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 In the end, we're gonna blow you up like a fucking whale on the beach. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and I want it to be one of those cartoon like cagoon. <laughs> <you know? laughs> like, like, do like, the, on the, do like the KFC on the radio logo like with our legs up. <laughs> But we're naked with titties, big Bam! titties. I want to oh. dress it up. You don't really have them. You want I keep ones. trying to like get them out of here, yeah. and then <laughs> and, and then just blow that up. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. sounds goes, like, like you know on the on your driver's license says like organ uh, organ donor. Yeah. I want like uh, cross style, like explosion experiment Military experiment bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't there's even this know. shit. I, this shit's going on. They said like, it was like a huge. It's unregulated. Yeah. There's nobody regulating. So if like Some you donate a family member's body. To one of these like for-profit places and you sign documents like this lady and two other guys they followed their stories signed that they did not want to be used for military experiment. and the place was like absolutely no problem Roop, <laughs> like because it's unregulated nobody pays attention <laughs> so i mean they yeah, are dead so, yeah, 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 like, 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 mind, yeah. Good luck. like you are dead if, if we gotta yeah. waste we gotta use regulation resources on things Dead people is not the one. Yeah, slip I mean, the they're gone. Don't worry. <laughs> but I mean, okay. you ever you ever hear about like what, what what the Nazis were trying to do in World War II? They were doing weird shit with like dogs and humans and trying to make like superhumans like super and experiments. Like, if you don't think we were trying to keep up with the Joneses, like we can't let we can't let you, the Nazis figure this shit yeah, out. We got to start sewing things together and that. blowing yeah, you things you up. You don't want that regulated. No, You're just like. Go crazy! It's like you. It's like it's like uh. Yeah, like, like if, men. Like, if you they want got, me on that wall, like you want me doing experiments, bro. Yeah. We gotta keep up. If they got that right, World War Two is totally different. Totally We're different. We're living in the man. They created castle. like a German Shepherd human, human hybrid. Like yeah. imagine a German Shepherd that could fucking snipe you and shoot shoot guns. You're in a lot of trouble. Big time. You are. I yeah, almost think we should regulate this. And with like the dogs. That tax me more. And like let's get some yeah, superhumans up in there. Yeah, let's put some funds towards that. The occasional like you know dog shoots his owner by just playing with the trigger. If that thing like knew purpose. how to use a scope and whatnot, <laughs> oh, it, hey. it also That's got run and didn't, bite didn't, and shit. Didn't go, it doesn't go well for us. I, I saw John Wick 3, the best action scene I've ever seen in my life when they got the dogs in there. Those dogs also had the ability oh, to... Oh, with Halle Berry? Yeah. Yeah. Job. Was, what I just a watched scene. it the other day, actually. What a scene. I like the scene where he beats up Bobon. I see people always like that one, they like the knife one. I am all about that dog scene. That dog scene's like my favorite action scene ever. As someone who has not seen it, this is an incredible pitch for the movie. Like, yeah, you say dog, I mean, the first, Bobon, what? The first, first action scene. Mary, guns. The first action scene, not to spoil it for you, but he beats up Bobon in the library. It's actually him? Oh, yeah. he beats the fuck out of him. Yeah, it's, it's actually awesome, Bobon. Dude. <laughs> not, not no wonder like, everybody loves this John Wick fella. John Wick, I hope they make 500 I watched, of them. I watched the second one, and, and the dog in that one was, you know, that was a bit much, but, right? That's the second one, or the first one? Uh, oh, that's, the first that's how it all starts. One. Yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. thing starts because someone kills his dog. That was tough. Yeah. 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 What, it really what is. That's the basis of the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> what a series. They weren't, like, blowing her up for research purposes. They were blowing up for fun. Yeah. They were like, okay, we sewed her head together, we took her tits, whatever. Yeah. We're, we're not researching, like, how, like, the IEDs work on Humvees. They're like, let's blow this bitch up. Yeah, they're like, you know. what happens when you blow up a car? Oh. <laughs> that, there you go. Cars blow up. Yeah, there it is. Look at human remains You could have saved you a whole bunch of time. You put a bomb under a car, car's going to blow up. Mm-hmm. Um, keeping with the weird, uh, some kid in India had 500 teeth removed from his, from his mouth or like his body? 
Like, were they, like, yeah, all... It was a mile. He had a swollen jaw, I believe. Yeah. 500, though? I feel like they got to be, like, in your arms and in but your feet. But if you, <laughs> you look at the picture, because I did right like, before he came on, some of the teeth are, like, microscopic. I so mean. they're not all, like, he wasn't, like... Was that... Was the spiral picture the one? Yes. That's well, the some one. of them were also fucking enormous. They were enormous. So... But, but the number is a little misleading, because there were, like, you know, a couple hundred could just be tiny little ones. How you can you see it in a picture? It's little, though. I know. It's but, like, little. I saw the spiral. All that was in your mouth, it would be a fucking nightmare. That's what the uh, the White Walkers were all about. Yeah, yeah taking your body parts. All your teeth. Uh, mm-hmm. put them in the I don't understand how this happens. I don't understand how stuff like this always happens in India. It's like India is like the Florida of countries. Well, you get extra arms, you get extra legs, you get extra I know, it's like me. You get Bark Boy and all that stuff. How? how? Tree Man. Does this ever happen in America? I don't think so. Does this kid think he's getting like $500 from the tree <laughs> you know Jackpot! I mean? yeah, like, this is awesome. In India, that's, it yeah, hurt, you get like 500 rupees. It's like, no, it hurt, but I'm just going to throw these under my pillow and you know, that's cash how it in. Works. Rupees one of those things that like kind of sounds racist. Yeah. Where it's like, like, what, like in, in the, in like, what should I call you? It's like, well, call me a Mexican. It's like, ah. yeah. like, like what do you rupee? use, rupees? It rupee, sounds like, rupee, it sounds like it's been in a video game. I think it's what used to be in the Aladdin Zelda. video game. Was I thought it was Zelda. Ocarina of yep. Time. I think they were mm-hmm. rupees. I could be wrong about that, though. Very racist. It does. I feel like I don't like to use that word. Yeah. I, get, I get, it feels weird. I'll Speaking call of, Indian actually, dollars. this wasn't on a list. Indian dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, Indian the, dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an Indian dollar. It wasn't on a list, but because you mentioned the Mexicans, uh, LeBron James is racist and, you know, appropriating culture yeah. is now picking up some steam. <laughs> People are trying to uh, really make it happen. And I'm at a crossroads, my friend. Right. I don't know if I go pedal to the metal here and continue this feud with LeBron and just be like standing at, you know, side by side with Clay Travis and Jason Whitlock. <laughs> or if I admit that, you know, it's not that bad. Yeah, like, what do it's, I do well, it's, it's almost like <laughs> what the, would you guys uh, do? It's like the, it's like the Lena Dunham, uh, Brad Pitt thing. Like, yes, the shoe's on the other foot is reported the shoe is very on the differently. Foot. It's, on, it's on the foot. It's on but the foot. It's on, it's, on, it's on that foot. It's on a Mexican foot. And I'm just... Tacos are Mexican. I'm not. And, I'm not just. I'm just like. Eh, I don't really give a shit. Yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, but, like there are just certain. You know, the uh, argument was like if if someone was eating fried chicken and acting stereotypically black, it would be a really big problem. That's a fact. That is true. You're correct. But that's not I, what's happening. I'm just not gonna. I don't want to. I'm. I'm not joining your side. Yeah. No. Like like like. Let me, let's, I guess some point you just gotta be like, ah, I don't care. Yeah. Let's try something <laughs> else. Like, if, you, if you do blackface, you're in like all sorts of trouble. For sure. If, if you if I dressed up like a like a Mexican gangster for Halloween or something like that. The button, the bandana, like some tattoos, the the plaid, you know what I mean? Like the stereotypical look. What kind of voice would you use for it? Yeah, if I were, and then if I was just like, hey, yes, hey, I'm yeah, Viva Rasta, uh, I'd be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah, you're just laughing. I don't know. Am I going to get in trouble for that? <laughs> you might already be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I think we're already there. You win again, <laughs> you LeBron. You arrived at trouble. Damn it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I yeah, should <laughs> <it> all. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, I think you'd be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Now I think like like you know that the internet video, the guy walking and he's like, yeah. You know, if I if I was doing that at the party, would I be in trouble? <laughs> if I rolled yeah, up, dude. If I rolled up in like yeah, a, in a low rider. Let's yeah. see how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be in trouble. Mm, for sure. It's been a bad week for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Last here on the list, some soccer player, some soccer star. I don't even know his name. He signed with Russia. He got, he's celebrating, I guess, signing, or they won, or some shit. He gets drunk, says he was Googling his own name just to soak in, you know, all the, that's a, that's a move right there. <laughs> just sitting there Googling your name, like, give it all to me. I want to see it all. Celebrate. And he <laughs> said, as he did that, he accidentally posted his sex tape to Snapchat. Come up with a better excuse, because that's not real. <laughs> that's not the one. You know? Because that excuse is like, not that, what happens. Hire a PR firm, because you fucked that up. <laughs> that is, Who among us hasn't been like, trying to Google themselves <laughs> and actually <laughs> post a sex video to Snapchat? To Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat. Like, Google, there is no Google in Snapchat. You know what I mean? There's no, yeah. like, there's not even a crossover there. If I was, if I was saying, even... like, I was searching my name on Twitter and I posted a tweet, like, I don't know, maybe. But to be like I was Googling myself and Snapchat and sex tape, it sounds Those like you were getting jive. Googled, if you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. I know what you're saying. I get it. Um, no, but, but for real, D, that's, this is just like, does he have, does, what's his dick look like? That's, what's his dick look that's like? That's what well, you want to know. Well, because, I mean, look, look, if he's got a good dick and he he's getting a purpose. blowjob, then he put it up on purpose. I see yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. come on. But if it's a bad performance. If it fits in a snap. If it's a bad performance, what, so you think he was, I mean, he was trying to send it privately and post it publicly, right? That's what happened. Ah, uh, I don't know how that works, but that sounds that sounds like it that could sounds be more that more likely. It's either you wanted it out there, or you. Who were, would he you be were, sending it to? Like his boys? 
Like, hey, like... The girl? Congrats to me on the new oh, contract. You made it with a girl and then sent it over? What, she needs to do a little film research? Game, That's not how good a dick is. game film? <laughs> um, send it yeah, to another know. girl? Send no, no. Just, I think yeah, like, using the excuse of being like, I was sending it to someone, but I accidentally put it public. I think people accept that now, right? People just. Be like, I think okay that makes sense. That. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, he and if have he's to make a soccer up, star, I don't even know why we're talking he about this. Have to make up some strange Google. We've learned you're allowed to play by different rules if you're a star athlete. One hundred percent. I don't see the big deal. Speaking they of cultural like appropriation, you're gonna get in trouble for this shirt. Why? If I'm gonna get in trouble for pretending to be a Mexican on the rundown, you're gonna get in trouble for wearing a. Tigarte this de is. Bar Deportes. It's Barcelona. Tigarte Sports. de Bar Deportes. <laughs> it's just Barcelona Sports in Spanish. It's, yeah, yeah, I don't know why. I just, I just Welker has like, it's a one of one. You it's, asked for that. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. Just, Welker was so like, don't worry, one. I'll make it for you. Like, we'll put it in the store soon. He's like, no, no. I, I'll I'll just, put it in the store. I just want one. I just want it. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> think those would sell. So do I. I think this is going to work. <laughs> it's like the stupidest Ooh. shirt I've ever so made. Like, I just thought it was Are cool. Are you sure? Like, the stupidest shirt you've ever wearing, I like your shirt. No, I like your shirt. No, 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 no. It's called that. I like that. I said made. It's the stupidest oh, shirt I've made. I see. Not the stupidest shirt I've ever worn. I've, I've definitely, I have a giraffe shirt sitting on my desk. We've got 65 yeah. million unique visitors. I bet we could see Yeah, we have plenty of. You get like one fraction of that and you're rich. Dude. I, for, I forgot during that whole Mexican thing I was wearing a Spanish shirt. What? I'm not getting. Oh, do, yeah. I'm yeah. not getting in trouble for this. We got to make that like red, green, and, and, and uh, white and make it, you know, I'm going to get you in trouble. Put an eagle in here. Eagle? Of, well, I, I guess not the, the star. The eagle has stars around it, right? The eagle. It, There's an eagle on there? It, there's some kind of bird on the Mexican flag. Yeah? Hm. I don't know. Who knew? It's sitting it's it's on a cactus, like, I believe. I believe the eagle is ours. <laughs> Can't steal that from us. Snake on a cactus? No, there's it's definitely birds, a bird. It's a bird. Birds hanging out yeah. on cactuses? It's a bird. It's, a, it's definitely it's a bird. He says it's a bird. All right. Okay. Cool. Good rundown. <laughs>